Hi there. In this video, I'm going to continue with hyperbolic functions and I'm going to prove to you that only hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic tan are odd functions and only hyperbolic cos is an even function. Okay. First of all, let me explain what even and odd functions are. Okay. So here's the definition. So even function. So I hope you guys can see that. So let me underline that. So for the function to be even, f of minus x is equal to f of x for all values of x. Okay, so that is the criteria uh, for even functions. Okay, so let me use a green pen, make it stand out. So that's for even functions. Okay. However, for the function to be odd, so odd function. So here is the criteria. So let me underline that in red also. So for it to be odd, f of minus x equals minus f of x for all values of x okay so let me use a green pen let's make those two conditions stand out okay now as i said i want to prove to you so i'm going to prove to you that hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic tan are odds and only hyperbolic cos is even so let's go through it in order yeah so in this case um let's prove so prove that uh, hyperbolic sine is odd. Okay, so let's let's uh, let's start out. So we're going to do this proof together. Okay, so first of all, so here is how you would prove this. First of all, I let f of x equal hyperbolic sine x. So uh, let f of x equal hyperbolic sine x okay and I'm going to be using a definition of hyperbolic sine in order to prove that it's odd so in the previous uh, video we went through the definition so just to remind you hyperbolic sine x is e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2 yeah so in this case what I'm going to do is so I'm going to call this step number one step number one of the proof. In step number two, okay, using the definition, I'm going to calculate f of minus x and hopefully we'll end up with minus f of x. Okay, so remember, we'll start off by calculating f of minus x using the definition of hyperbolic sine and we should get minus f of x. Okay, so if this is true, then we have an odd function. So here goes. So in step number two, f of minus x. So using the definition of hyperbolic sine. So to calculate f of minus x, we're going to replace all of these x's in our definition by minus x. So in this case, let's have a look. We're going to have e to the power minus x minus e to the minus of a minus x over 2. Okay, so let me take a ruler just to underline this. Yeah, so all I've done is replace all of the x's in the hyperbolic sine definition by minus x's. Now, if we continue, so if I uh, get rid of the brackets, I'm going to have e to the minus x minus e to the power minus into a minus here is plus. So e to the plus x over 2. Okay. Now, let's take out a common factor of minus 1 out. So if I take a common factor of minus 1 from the numerator, so just from the numerator, so if I factorise by factorising by taking out a common factor of minus 1, we're going to end up with e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2 
okay? And at this point, e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2, so just this, so just cast your eyes on that, so ignoring the minus, cast your eyes on the red dotted uh, markings, so just this function here. This is, as you can see from our definition, that is hyperbolic sine x, okay? So as you can see, it's minus hyperbolic sine x, and bearing in mind, f of x is hyperbolic sine x, so if I replace the hyperbolic sine by f of x, that is minus f of x. Okay, so that concludes the proof. So in this case, um, since you can call this step three just to close the proof or conclude the proof, so since f of minus x equals minus f of x, so therefore um, hyperbolic sine is indeed odd. Okay.